entrance of Red Clay State Park. Let's go in there and see if they'll talk to me today. If they don't, we'll schedule another time. But like I said, I just want to get some basic information on these guys because, you know, I got some weird visualizations. And, yeah, a lot of my traits, the way I look at medicine and plants, is it. In half a mile, the destination is on your left Red Clay State Historic Park. Of a true Native American, true to the land base, and knowing that the Wolf Clan is in my DNA, you know. and you know, um, I just want to, like I said, get some take on them about, you know, the medicine men, plant medicine versus what's going on, and I'll just talk to them, you know, and see what they say, and maybe go out and take pictures, you know, so we'll see how, what they say, okay, be back. The Great Spirit has rose. The destination is on your left, Red Clay State Historic Park. Let's see here, we got day use area and visitor center. Take Welcome a slight left turn. Welcome, please ask for service and protect our natural cultural resources of Bay Off Park Rules Regulation. Let's go in here and talk to these guys and see what's going on in the Red Clay State Park. Let's go, let's go. up here and read this thing and just get some circulation of the property and talk to him a little bit. <clears throat> it's a rainy day, but it, you know, rain is a good thing, you know, rain brings solace and rain is good. And, you know, like I said, when I was very young, this is a, my, one of my favorite things I ever done was come here and um, I think it was... Uh, Soho was his name. I can't remember the exact teacher, but um, or the Boy Scout leader. But let's see here, all pets on leash, fence areas, certified ward. All right, let's go in here and talk to him. a bummer today I came here and it looks like they're closed um, 12 p.m. is a visitor center I guess through the park I guess I can still go in the park I'm gonna ask them you know and see what they say I'm gonna ask this guy right here if it's still legal for me to go wandering around in the park and that would be just as fun for me Is it all right to walk around the park without them being open and just walk around? That's cool. All right, thanks, man. You know, it's funny when I really, really know what that means on a deep level. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> let's uh, walk around here and see what's up. Um, I'm gonna cut it and walk around and then um, take some pictures and stuff. But as of right now, we'll do some research.
I remember when I was young, I think they let us, you know, no trespassing, but when I was young, I think they allowed us to play in this blue hole or something. I don't know, they found some bones, something weird in it. This blue hole is, um, it's got a lot of his history behind it. I'll have to look it up, but, um, you know, it's, it's really cool, you know, and um, I bet that there's some really natural, good natural to source fish in it that, you know, they don't allow you to fish, you know, but um, it's really beautiful. And here we go. This is a running, running water. Got a little nice park bench. So one day maybe I can come sit with some special lady and look at this and, um, you know, look at the blue hole and meditate here. You know, this is beautiful. You know, it's just so peaceful and quiet, you know. And um, I'm going to meditate here for a while and just chill out. Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're enjoying my videography. I'm just sitting here chilling and meditating on the stream in the blue hole here. It's a really beautiful place. And um, I just want to express some of my thoughts about stuff in the world and whether, you know, it even makes sense to anybody at all, that's cool or not. But um, through my life, you know, I was um, I was put on medication that was, you know, I guess it would date back probably from European that came over here and was very synthetic and not natural to the land. And um, that medicine made me very sick, you know, and um, it messed with my hormones. It messed with everything, you know, and it wasn't very good medicine at all. And um, I'm trying my best to get off that medicine because I know it was bad for me, my mind, soul, body, everything, you know. I was not who I really was, you know. And, um, you know, I, um, what really brought me back to a point of where I didn't go to jail or mental hospitals even if I was crazy, you know, I don't fit the definition to go to a jail or a mental hospital for the simple fact that I'm not doing anything illegal and I'm not doing anything against the law and I'm not hurting anyone. So my views and expression of what I believe and what I say is legal. It's all legal, you know, and um, some people don't like that, but I love it. And, um, you know, that's just coming here, like I said, reminds me of going back to Boy Scouts and stuff. And I had some of the best times of my life here and it was just amazing, you know, and and I don't know, um, you know, we did invade the Indians and um, the Indians said that hemp was the Indian, or I think it's Washington said that um, the um, hemp is actually Indian hemp seed is what they called it and it should be planted everywhere, you know. And I find that ironic that I have um, heritage in my DNA that d dates back to the Wolf Clan and I was wanting to talk to them about that but no one's there today and I'm just coming out here to chill and talk to them more about that, you know. But, um, yeah, I find it weird that when I started ingesting high amounts of um, cannabis, even though it was the non-psychoactive kind, you know, I was having fun in life and things were coming back to balance. It didn't make sense in my mind, you know, and, and I think the pharmaceuticals really messed me up. And so did other toxic substances. I ain't gonna lie, you know, other shit I done, you know, I shouldn't have done it, you know, I admit. But the combination of those plus those at the same time, when somebody wants to be natural to the earth, it's going to make them messed up, you know. And I think that's the true definition of schizophrenia is the imbalance between you and the earth and your environment, you know. And that's what I believe, you know. And, you know, I think when people come completely out of balance, you know, they form a sense of schizophrenia. And I'm not saying I found the cure for schizophrenia, but what I have found is a cure for me to be happy in life. And hell, I think everybody wants that cure. But, um, you know, I'm going to hop off here and do some more videography walking around and just chill out here with some Indian flute music. I hope you guys enjoyed the music I put to this. It's 528 hertz, which supposedly, if you know anything about frequencies, then um, if you listen to it with headphones or something, you know, it should bring you in a state of balance because 528 hertz is a therapeutic way of a tonality through its song. Whether most modern music has different tones of all kinds of tones, it's actually detrimental to your mind and your body. And this is backed up by science. So, you know, if you listen to this music during this and you like it, you know, check out the 528 Hertz. Because like I said, music like that is what we need to start listening to. And I'm not saying don't listen to old music or anything. I'm just saying that, you know, it does help you, you know. But anyways, I'm going to enjoy my day here. And thank you guys for checking it out. And I hope you're being blessed. See you later.
is about the size of my building, my office I hang out in. It really is. How funny is that? Look at that. That is funny. 